Alright, how's it going guys? So today we're going to go ahead and do a review of this Atherin Genesis Union Pacific 25534 C8-8 caboose. Um, this is the DCC and sound version, so this is going to have a Tsunami sound car board in it. It is LED. Um, now, the price tag on this was a good bit. Um, but if you think about the board that's in it, which is about $65 and the detail on this car, which is about as close to brass as you're going to get for plastic, uh, it's pretty impressive. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at it. Um, now this does have the McHenry couplers in it. Uh, they are going to be changed out for Katie. I've already switched this one out on this side. I already had one. Um, but this side over here, still McHenry, um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and take a quick look. Um, so all the walkways are see-through. Down here as well, you have your whistles right here. And right here. Um, you do have your marker lights here. And here, um, it does have interior lighting. And that's about it for the lighting. Um, it has a few sound features to it as well. Um, you uh, get a couple things in the box. Let me go ahead and open that up real quick. So you get these little guys right here. And where they go? These little guys right here. And then you get your Tsunami sound car, DCC and sound programming paper with the different functions on it and all the different CV values that you can change your sounds to and how to consist it, how to add and adjust the volume for the clickety-clack. On the other side is your NCE side if it's just a regular DCC and then on the inside is your exploded views of everything. It also comes with your warranty card as well as a card to just tell you to hey sign up for our news for when we have new releases. So um, all right let's go ahead and take a quick look at this thing on the tracks and I'll show you guys some of the lighting and sound features. All right, now that we're on the tracks, one thing I want to point out about the attention to detail on this car is that if you look real close, it actually has roller bearings, just like the actual prototype did. Now, the only one that does not have it is this one right here. Uh, that is actually the generator, um, much like the prototype had. Um, so this is the only wheel right here that does not have an actual roller bearing. Um, so, but one thing I wanted to point out is it also has all metal grab irons. So if you see here, like out of the box, this one's a little bent, you can just bend it right back um, and make sure it's actually touching this one right here. Um, if you really, really wanna make sure it is like spot on. Um, but, uh, the windows do move, um, over here. So I am going to use a knife real quick, but I can actually get in there and move this window a little bit with it. Um, so yeah, windows move on the cupola. Um, but so we'll go ahead and I'll turn the light off on my camera here. That way you guys can actually see the lights right. on it. Next, I'm going to go ahead and show you the lighting. So if you hit F0, that is going to turn on your marker light. This one here is purely directional. So if you're going forward, this one's going to be on. And then if you reverse your direction, the other side is going to go ahead and turn on. So now you can see that that one is on. Flip it back around. And then if you hit F3, they say in the book, it's just a lighting effect.
Uh, but F3, we'll turn that one on. And then F4 turns this one on. F5 will turn your LED interior lighting on. So now that's not very bright, um, but they don't have a whole lot of detail on the inside. Just a couple chairs, one up in the cupola and then one in the, the main cabin of the actual caboose. Um, but yeah, so there is a little bit of interior lighting inside. So that is just about it for the lighting. Uh, next, we'll I'll go ahead and do the uh, sound for you. So if you hit F1, that's gonna be your bell. F2 is your whistle. F8 is mute, so I'll go ahead and turn the whistle back on. There's F8. F9 is the generator. So just a faint little hum. F10 is coupler clank. F11 is apply and release the brakes. F12 is uncouple and glad hand release. F13 is couple and uncouple. Doesn't seem to really do anything. And then F14 is half speed and momentum override. Also doesn't really do anything. So um, that just about does it for the lighting and sound and everything. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the lights off uh, above my layout. That way you guys can actually see all the lighting and then I'll turn the lights back on and hook it up to a train and see if we can hear the clicking clock noise all right the caboose is right here so now that the lights are off I'll go ahead and turn the lights back on that way you guys can actually see everything so here is your marker light here is that light and then if I come over here there's the other one and then I'll reverse direction. And you can see that that one turned on. And then I'll turn the interior lighting on. All right, so there you go. Like I said, it's not very bright, but it is, uh, it's not too bad whenever you actually have the lights off. So I'll go ahead and actually hook this up to an engine right now. Um, I think I'm gonna hook it up to my Desert Victory uh, SD 40 dash two, and we'll, uh, see how everything else sounds once it's all hooked up and actually moving. All right. We got her back into position. I'm going to go ahead and bring my desert victory back. So as you can see there, couplers match up real nice. Um, I'm very impressed with that. So, all right, we'll, uh, I'll actually turn the sound off for it. That way we can actually hear the caboose. All right, now that I have muted my Desert Victory up there, um, I have, uh, fully synced this caboose with the engine uh, just by a normal advanced consist. Um, 
So it requires the advanced consist to be done in order for the clickety clack to work. Uh, without it, it will not work. So just real quick, I'll go ahead and reverse the engine. That way you can hear it. And here you get a bit of a uh, clickety-clack noise a little bit, and you also get yourself a bit of a wheel squeal against the rails. Oops. And then whenever you do that, when the engine blows its horn, so will the caboose. And same thing with the bell. All right. All right, well, that just about does it. Um, once again, I hope you uh, you like the my review of this uh, caboose. Um, I will put all the uh, pricing down below in the description. If you like what you saw today, please hit that like button and that subscribe button, and maybe even that bell icon. That way, you get notified every time that I post. So, all right, have yourself a great day.